What is it? Exit sign? Um... Whoops. Is that like, is that, are they trying to tell me something? Wait a minute, do those have to, those have to be put in the home, don't they? Won't let me place it. Or does it have to be on a wall? Throw the leaf in a fire. Put it on the wall, I guess. You can't hang things on tent walls. Fine, whatever. I guess let's throw it on the ground with everything else for now. Okay, well, let's leave it there. Uh, let's just go. There it is. Okay, another little, another little fish. See if we can catch that one. Oh, come on, buddy. Horse macro? I think I had that one already. Of course, mackerel. <laughs> medium fish. Let's see what this guy is. A little bit further over. Nope. About right there. Oh my, that's big and pretty. A red snapper looks pretty dapper. Uh, yeah, so far this game is gorgeous and it's just absolutely pretty too. Really, really gorgeous. And what it, where it really shines is just like the little details. Just like like the things that stuff stack, the little like animations and details in the world and stuff. It's just really really cute. Oh, did my fishing rod break again? Man. These fishing rods are flimsier than a Trump promise. God. I have to build another one already. Hmm. Uh, urban farmer, she doesn't matter anymore. She's not in politics anymore. She's living four years ago. <laughs> I need more sticks. Come on, sticks. I need more flimsy materials. I can... Once I get the upgraded tools... Once we get the upgraded tools, then we'll be able to, um... Hopefully not have them break. Be good. I got paid thirty dollars for pulling a brown eye out of a car, out, out, car, a brown eye out car the window at a group of girls is boarded. It's been a good day. Uh, 
What? He mooned girls for money, is that what that means? Great. That's nice. That's lovely. Have I played Ori? Yep, we played Ori uh, 1 and 2. We're, we just have to finish 2, though. We got a good start on that, though. Too many games come out at once. Alright, let's go back in the... Uh in the tent and make another fishing pole. I'm stuck on choosing an island. I can't pick. It's too hard. Well, I mean, they all have the same amount of space and the same amount of rivers and stuff. It's just whatever you think is prettiest. Or you think would be like the best like configuration long term. Okay, another fishing rod. Did, do I still have it? Better have a backup net as well. Alright, all done for now. Okay, what do we earn? So, picture? It looks like you get a handful of double point rewards, and then after that, it's just regular points from then on out. Catch a loach. Earn bells by selling items. Chop wood. Seashells. I kind of want to go for the 3,000 point. It's either we go 3,000 point and get the better tools, or we just stockpile for the 5,000 for more inventory slots. It's kind of like a, hmm, which one do I want more kind of a thing. Probably tools. Yeah. I'll sell the socks because I don't have any place to put them. I think I don't have a snapper, so I need to keep on, hold on to that. Um, we'll sell our first net. And the weed. Seven ten sold. Oh, we have other miles to redeem? Do we? Oh, we do. Beautiful. Okay, we're getting close to the tools. I noticed that some of the rewards seem like they will be delivered over time, so you may not get them right away. Some of the rewards were instant, and there might be timers later for some of them. Photographer. Nice, we can afford the tool recipes now. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 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 uh. How do you play sound from your Switch to your headset? Oh, I'm, all my stuff goes into a capture card, and then the capture card into a mixer, and the mixer goes into my headset. If you're playing on your own, you don't need any of this stuff. Wait a minute, I just realized, as we're playing each day, we'll get new villagers each day. There's like 300 possible villagers you can get in your Animal Crossing village. But you only have 10 at a time, so it's like... So you don't know which of them you're gonna get. There's 300 villagers, but you only can have 10 at a time. So you gotta pick and choose who you wanna have. Snapper. 
I like this little aquarium it got built, a little outdoor aquarium. Is there some way to do the lower one? I can't turn the light on the lower thing, and that's making my OCD go. <laughs> Oh, wrong button. Okay, okay, hold up. Place item. X. Place second item. Turn it on. There you go. <laughs> now, those are just going to sit there for now, but tomorrow I'll to give them to uh, Blathers when he shows up. I think we have both those butterflies. Oh my god, I'll have to catch some moths at night. We'll have to do night streams once in a while. Just to do a couple hours of catching night bugs and night uh, moths for you guys. Special late night streams. If you guys want to get get up and get comfy and do some late night Animal Crossing streams. Catching bugs and stuff. Because remember, the, game, the clock is real time in this game. And if you die in the game, you die IRL too. <laughs> did I catch each of the bugs? I think we did. Both butterflies. White butterfly. We don't have the yellow butterfly. I need to catch one of those. So that's how you catch a butterfly, Phoebe. See, Phoebe? That's how you be cool like me. We have both of these guys. Now there's some little crawly bug in the sand I'm noticing. I wonder how you catch that one. I wonder if you have to like dig it up with a shovel. But there's like totally a little bug that pops up on the sand. There's a colorful beetle too? Where does the beetle appear? See if we can spot the little bug that's on the beach. Right there. You see that? It like it like spit out water. See right there? Oh, those are clams? Do you have to dig those up with a shovel? I'm gonna guess you probably need a shovel for those. Clams do that IRL? They piss? Oh, they're like spitting? Alright, well, let's see. Let's try to find a beetle somewhere. Is the beetle like crawling around on the ground or does he. Hang up on a tree. And we gotta find the beetle right here somewhere. We also need to try to catch wasps, but that's dangerous. Yeah, we caught the little, the little bug that falls out of the tree. Well, let's go ahead and grab. We'll fish this guy up over here. Little guy. Hey, buddy.
a bitterling. It's mad at me, but only a little. Okay, I guess we could start shaking some trees for stuff. Let me ready my net. Maybe we'll find another wasp. Sometimes a bug will fall out too. Nope. Nope, unfortunately. Grab them. Is there a point to this game other than gathering bugs and fish? Yes, but the, as I said, this game is not a game you play for, you play and beat in a couple, in like 10 hours. It's a game that you play a little bit each day over the course of months. And things happen each day. Like tomorrow, blathers will appear. We'll get new tools and stuff open up. And the further you get into the game, the more things open up. The goal of this game is to take a deserted island and convert it into an island paradise over time. But there will be a lot of bug catching and fishing to fill in the, the slow times. And then when there's holidays, it'll be holidays in the game. When it's winter, you'll have snow in the game. And autumn will be autumny. Villagers will move in and move away over time. Special events will happen. There'll be items you can buy each day that are different. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Wingtip shoes! <laughs> Whoa! Those are purple! Those are purple! Jeez! Those are intensely purple! I'm styling now! Let's chop. Hmm. Uh, technically, we're in the spring. I fished a trash can, discovered I could make a flowers trash can thingy, but I need 10 weeds. Gather them all and sold them already. It happens. Oh, you have to buy the tool with your uh, nook points. Yeah, money does grow on trees. Hmm. Whoops. I don't know if you can pl make a money tree in this game, like plant money. I thought there was, that was something in the previous games, you could plant a money tree. I don't know if that was, that's in this game or not. You can do it in this one too. All right, what is cast master? Now have a bunch of fish in a row without needing, without a single one getting away to earn these miles. Okay, oh, that's all right. Uh, making your house a home, furniture items. Probably need a golden shovel. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be tiers of upgrades in this. Passport map. Yeah, I can't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow when we stream, we'll be able to go to the other parts of the island. Which would be nice. See you later. Alright, let's 
I've got a lot of wood now, so maybe we can craft some stuff. We'll craft my little uh, DIY bench and I can put that outside. Simple DIY workbench. Did I make a birdhouse yet? Not yet. Let's do it. I wonder if you can if little birds will pop up if you put one of these down. A stone stool. Yes, please. Oh, my pockets are full. Boo. Let's see. Want to sell? Let me sell the weed, the butterfly, the sand dollar, bitterling. Yeah, this is not a game that you're going to be able to do everything in one day. You eventually run out of things to do each day, and then you put it down and you wait until tomorrow, and you do it, play some more again tomorrow. It's a game that slowly rewards you. You get a little bit more each day. But if you want to cheat, you can push the clock forward each day, but the game will punish you for doing that. And it's a game that, like, you play a couple hours in the morning, then you play a couple hours at night when it's nighttime and there's different bugs out and people are up. Certain NPCs are in the, up in the, at night versus the day, so people go to sleep during the, that night. So you can, like, play a little bit in the morning, play a little bit at night. Play a little bit all around. It's it's a chill game. You just go into and out of whenever you want. And then each day, new stuff will happen. Like new people will appear, and then you'll get access to new areas, new islands, new places to explore. You can build like buildings, like like bridges. You can build um, park benches, fountains, houses for your your people and you all come together like it's very slow and game that takes place over the course of months not just like all in like one sitting that's what makes it uniquely different from a lot of other games it's kind of like mobile games kind of use the like a timer system but this one doesn't have any sort of way to pay to get to go past the timers Uh, the phone game is kind of the phone game is kind of a lot different than this. It's not nearly the same. I I wouldn't judge that off of if you like uh, Animal Crossing game or not. There's a lot of different things. It's quite different. I think a lot of people won't like that one. Hmm. Well, let's put a birdhouse. So, Caliber, thank you for 500, 500 uh, bits. Can you let? Me, can you guys come to my island sometime? Maybe if I can figure out a way to, so you guys cannot mess up my island, like picking my flowers and destroying my stuff. Is there a way to invite people to your game to where they can't mess up anything, like your flowers or your placement of items or steal stuff? Or steal your fruit. Is there a way to like invite someone and let them not be able to interact with it? I don't think that's pr probably a thing. Anyone that isn't says best friend can't take stuff on your island or chop trees. Ooh. So people can come in, but you can lock them out so they can't do anything. Oh. So maybe. Maybe we'll figure out a way to do that then. <gasps> I got an idea.
What if you put a flower garden around the birdhouse? sale today. Do flowers have a random chance to become a different color or do you just have to like wait until you get different seeds in or something? Like for right now I only have the color white for these flowers. That's it. I only have white. Will they eventually occasionally be red or yellow randomly? I have white roses, white pansies, and white wildflowers. All white. I am the Iowa of islands right now. Oh no. I can't trust that ever again now. Nook said to water them for rare mutations. Okay, thank you. So randomly, as I water them, they will occasionally be different colors. Look at my little garden. Isn't that cute? How do I... I can't... I don't think I can get that up without a shovel. So I'm just going to have to live with it being in the wrong spot. flower garden. Did I get that back one? Yes. It's pretty. Yeah, I'm trying not to trample my flowers. I'm trying not to. It's, it's Sometimes you forget and it's like, whoop! stool for people to sit on. Fire, a little prettier than the other fire. When I get $25 back on taxes, I'll be able to sub to you again. You don't want to spend something, spend that $25 in something else? You're going to sub a little old me? I don't want those spikes, though. It does check mark whether you've crafted these or not, so maybe it's good to craft one of everything just to mark them off my list. 
You get the iron nuggets by smacking uh, rocks with the axe. Thank you, felons. Thank you, X Jaeger, for gifting a sub to Nightwish Lol. You're not little Dan, you're big in chat's heart. Well, thank you. I should can make that with weeds. A little hay bed if I want one, but I don't know why I want one. Yes, two players can play this game on one console if you have two controllers. You can do a split screen, but you will end your relationship if you try to play co-op in this game with somebody because you'll never agree 100% on who gets what flowers, who gets what, what fruits, who gets to put what where, who's going to steal what items from who. Like That's going to be like divorce you'll put your kids in an orphanage like whatever the situation I'd, I'd recommend each person getting their own switch and then visiting each other's islands because that that's just gonna be tough on your relationship because like uh, on an island you only get so many resources every day and if you you're splitting them then or someone else gets on early and takes them all, and then you're just stuck with nothing, and... Um, yeah, I'm not playing with Kevin, but Kevin will come visit my island at some point. In fact, how do you get people to visit your islands in this? Do you need the airport thing to be open for people to do that? Airport, so I won't be able to do it until tomorrow. So the airport, we'll have to wait till the airport's open. So the first day, you can't have any visitors. So tomorrow, I'm going to go visit my friend Kevin and take all his apples and put them on my island. <laughs> and I'll let him have some peaches, too. We'll, we'll trade. So after your first day, you can trade fruit. Every island has its own fruit. Then you can go to other people's island, get some fruit, bring them back to your island, plant them, and then you can have those fruits on your island, which is wonderful. Now, if I remember correctly, is it that only the islands, only the fruit that is native to your island gets to be a perfect fruit once in a while? Is that how that works or is it just random chance regardless? I can't remember. Yeah, non-native does sell more. So if I take my my peaches and go over to Kevin's island, sell them there, I'll get way more money. Oh, Kevin got pears. Julia's got apples. So we're gonna have to have a three-way trading session of peaches for pears and apples for pe peaches. I see. We'll have to do get all that fruit. <laughs> No! Guys are being nasty. Stop it. You guys are being gross. Stop being gross. Bad people. Stop it. Oh! 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 Got him! Yes! Caught a tiger beetle. I pounced first. Rare bug. I pounced first. <laughs> Got him. Any more seashells by the seashore? Hey, Phoebe. Another conk. I'll be back for it in a second. Yeah, let's put the bug over here. We'll 
place this on the ground. Ooh, a yellow container. I wonder if that's anything to do with rarity, or it's just it's random. I think I'm going to get my mom this game. I think she would like this one. It's nice and slow and peaceful. Tiki torch, stone stool. a little close to the fire I think okay let's let's move it back a little bit yeah put it right on the fire is a little intense um I have you can some certain items can store stuff like refrigerators and dressers and stuff but we don't have that right now I don't have any recipes for it I can go double check See if there's any containers in the shop. <laughs> my mom can visit me and clean my island. <laughs> it's true. Hmm. Pretty good tools recipe. Getting better tools would be very nice. I'm gonna go for the tools. Receive the app data. So now we can make better tools. Yes! I can make stronger tools that won't easily break now. Hell yeah. DIY furniture. 300 more points. <laughs> oh, and we got that done. Let's do that. <laughs> I would like to sell, sir. I feel about these shoes I'm wearing. I think I like the other ones better. They're more. I don't know, they're both kind of bad. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, that, that matches the outfit better, I think. I want to sell. Those shoes and the sticks. Way too many sticks. I'll sell the excess ones. Chief Skate. Uh, the game literally has tens of thousands of items in it to make a custom animate custom. 3D model for every single one would be in like so much work. So they just leave a lot of them as generic leaf symbols because, but when you place it in the world, it becomes a um, it becomes the item itself. Hmm. It would be nice if they were to go through and just make every little thing have an icon, but. They don't. I want to see the shopping fight. Something with it that's containery. Nope, no containers at all. Nope. You love Dan Evil? I know. Isabella, as if she was in Doom. 
Let's sight off. Thank you. I uh, res I sold that res that carver box in the cycle bin. It was thirty bells. It's so windy today. Let's go ahead and place the tiki torch. Actually, we can put the DIY bench over here. And then maybe I can... Oh, I can craft outside now. Yeah, now we can craft outside. Our right, little workbench. Probably put a tiki torch out here so we can light it up. Well, no matter what you do, someone will complain about it. You could give everyone in the world money and people some people would complain it's too heavy. Those people are like that. Nintendo Switch Bonfire. I'll just sell this stuff. I don't need it. Now I think about it. I really I hope we get a container tomorrow so we can store stuff in it. Um, I want to sell. Yeah, we're upgrading our home, so tomorrow when we stream it we'll have an upgraded house and then Blathers will also be here tomorrow as well. That's easy to remake. I really need an exit sign, honestly. <laughs> Not bad, I'll take it. House comes with storage, oh, that, that'll be awesome tomorrow. Okay, anything else that we can do today? I think we're reaching the end of what we can do today other than gathering bugs and fish and stuff. I think we did um gathered all the all the materials. We got blathers ready. Oh, we can uh sell that for the DIY thing. Sell the seashells. I come on at night and pick up some night bugs too later after the sun goes down oh we need to check the new tools whoops we even see what they were <gasps> whoops I ran over the flowers let's see what the new tools require Shovel! Oh, I need the flimsy shovel first, which requires blathers. Ooh, better rod. Craft it. I need an iron for each one, though. Let's see. Wood, iron nugget. I'm about to get that. I need a better rod. That's so cool, though. We can craft all this stuff and upgrade them. A stone axe. Flimsy axe and wood. Flimsy axe, wood, and iron nugget for iron axe. Hmm. 
So we got the fishing rod. Yeah, so I only got one iron nugget today, but tomorrow we'll be able to cross the river and check out the rest of our island because if you look at our, our screen, we've only been able to explore the area, right, the, the bottom area, that little ring. Tomorrow, they will go to the whole outside area, which is much bigger, and we'll be able to get all the stuff over there. Blathers Tent Site Resident Services. Always on. Oh, that's cool. You can make it always on. I like the, I think I like the hide option the best. Off while moving. So it goes away and then comes back on when we stand still. That's nice. This is so cool. Yeah, so I think we're done for today. We did all the things that we can do for now. And then tomorrow morning we'll have the same stream at the same time. And we'll have a bunch of new stuff to do tomorrow, including going to the rest of the island. Like, we'll be able to see what's over there. Across the river. We'll be able to explore over there. We'll be able to talk to Blathers, do the museum. <clears throat> we'll have a house tomorrow. These flowers will probably be bloomed tomorrow as well. And we'll do this each day um, for a long while until we get tired of it. So, the, if you're uh, new to the channel, don't forget to follow. And check out the stream at this time every day. And we'll be doing um, Animal Crossing the way it's supposed to be done. A little bit at a time. And occasionally we'll do some night streams. And we get some night bugs and stuff. And it should be fun. I missed a rock? Where? Where? It's very important I get that rock today. Which rock did I miss? Where is he? What rock did I miss? Where was it? I have to get... It could have iron in it. Top left. Oh, we've 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 hit that rock already. This was our money rock for the day. Yeah. The uh, money rock won't break. It'll just give you all the, the cash. Oh, little buggy. I already have that guy, though, I think. <clears throat> well, that... Wait a minute, what the hell is that? Another one of those beetle things. I'll go ahead and capture him again. Tiger beetle. I bet you some bugs and fish and stuff are seasonal, too. We won't be able to fill it out until you play for a whole year. Oh, you need to eat peaches to break the rocks. <gasps> You're right. I shall eat the peaches. And now... Another stone. That's right, I forgot about the peach giving you power. Don't worry, the rocks regrow each day. So we'll be able to get those back tomorrow. Well, I mean, they don't re they they reappear. They don't grow, but you know what I mean. All right. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. We made a lot of progress today. That was a pretty good productive day. Got our house set up, island done. We got people moved in. What balloon? What where? I heard it. Where? Where? Oh, shit!
little bit further down. Nope, a little bit further down. What's our last thing for today? A simple panel. I have no idea what that means. Wow, it is a simple panel, isn't it? It's just literally a panel. Wow. That's nice. That's great. <laughs> Look at all those peaches over there taunting me that I can't loot today. Alright guys, well that's, that's going to be it for Animal Crossing today. We'll play some more of this tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning we'll make a lot more uh, progress. Um, we will be able to check out Blathers, cross the river, go to the rest of our island, check it all out. We'll do this every day um, at this time. Thank you guys for being here. I'm going to go ahead and take a lunch break. Um, I'm going to eat some food, and I'll be back in about an hour from now, so about 2.30 p.m. Eastern. And when I come back, we're going to play some Doom, which is almost the same game. It's practically the same. Some more Doom Eternal.